Hello friends, it's Prajul Pathak this side and you are watching my YouTube channel Pai Guru. Friends, in this tutorial of this series, we are going to learn about projections. Okay. In the last video, we created our first map and there we used a projection that was plate carry. But I told you uh, there that we will be learning about projections in detail in this video. Okay. So here we are. So before understanding projections, there are a few things that you must know. So here, see I have an image here and this is the image of a globe okay so there are few things on a globe that you must know see if you are able to see these horizontal curves are known as uh, latitudes and these vertical curves are known as uh, longitudes okay now you can find uh, you can point out any location on earth just using this latitudes and these longitudes okay also the latitudes they never meet each other so they are also known as parallels of latitude okay so if you are able to see these latitudes they never meet each other and they are known as parallel latitude while the longitudes they meet at two points see here at the north pole and here at the south pole okay the longest uh, or this this uh, longitude is known as a zero degree longitude or the prime meridian okay the longitude opposite to uh, this longitude on the back side of this globe is known as anti meridian okay also the length of each longitude is equal while as the length of uh, latitudes differ see this longitude is equal to this longitude is equal to this longitude is equal to this longitude but in the case of latitudes the upper this latitude is smaller this latitude is little longer this latitude is uh, little uh, uh, more longer and this at the center this is the longest latitude and also known as equator okay so this equator is at zero degree similarly this prime meridian is also at zero degree also uh, these latitudes are known as parallels of latitude while as these uh, longitudes are known as meridians of longitude or meridians okay uh, this part above the equator is known as the northern hemisphere and the part below the equator is known as the southern hemisphere okay now there here's a special curve which at the uh, 23 degree 20 uh, 26 minute north and it is known as the tropic of cancer exactly opposite to it is a tropic of capricorn at 23 degrees 26 minutes south okay also here's one more latitude at 66 degree 34 degree north known as the arctic circle exactly opposite to it is uh, one more latitude known as the antarctic circle as a 66 degree 34 minutes south okay so these are few things that you must know about uh, the uh, globe okay this part in arctic circle is quite icy similarly the part here in uh, antarctic circle is also icy okay so this is uh, this is he here we learned about the globe now what i'm trying to say is see this globe is uh, three dimensional uh, we know that our earth is three dimensional uh, let's say the shape of earth is hollow sphere we know that the uh, shape of earth is not spherical but for sake uh, we are just considering that the shape of earth is sphere okay so this globe will define is currently defining the shape of the earth now suppose uh, this is uh, now currently this is in three dimension but suppose if we want to show it on a two dimensional surface or on a paper what we have to do basically we have to cut this globe from somewhere okay now cutting a globe or cutting uh, let's say uh, yes cutting a globe will lead to some distortion okay it may happen that the continents uh, you have cut uh, the globe in such a way that the shape uh, get distorted the angle get distorted the countries the length the borders of these countries or the oceans something may get distorted okay so basically uh, let me come here i hope you understood this uh, globe now let's come back here let's see here displaying a three-dimensional earth surface on a 2d surface lead to distortion a good map is one which is conformal equal area and equidistant but no such map exists okay basically what is a good map it should be conformal it should be equal area and it should be equidistant but so far we are not able to create one such map which has all these three properties okay so here i'll be teaching you what is conformal what is equal area and what is equidistant map 
see a conformal projection so first of all let's, let's learn about conformal okay we'll also be making the map based on it so first of all conformal a conformal projection is a map projection that favors preser preserving the shape of features on the map okay it preserves angle but not the area and the length basically what is this is uh, if you try to cut it from where in conformal the shape will be preserved so this continent will be exactly as it is currently but the length of the uh, two continents let's say may differ okay so in, com in conformal angle is preserved or the shape is preserved but not the area and the length okay so let's try to create a conformal map here how can we do it we know it we, uh, we, we can do it using cartopi so first let's import cartopi to here so import cartopi dot ccrs as sorry crss ccrs and then import matplotlib matplot uh, sorry matplotlib dot pyplot as plt okay now what we are going to do we are going to create a simple axis here ax equals uh, wait a minute plt dot axis okay and inside the axis we have to pass the projection that we want to choose okay so let's try to create a conformal projection here uh, the examples of conformal projections are lambert conformal mercator or stereographic okay so first of all let me create a, just a conformal map to you so projection equals equal ccrs dot mercator okay uh, here we have created it now what we are going to do uh, ax dot coastline sorry uh, this will create uh, coastlines or the border of continents here and finally plt dot so okay and if i run this uh, we should get a projection uh, we should get a uh, map created here but i think here will be an error as it as it should be projection i think so let it get executed first and then we'll try to sort it out if there's a error okay so i will run it but it's taking a little longer time uh -huh. okay so we have got an error here most probably because it's projection not projections okay so here you have to choose a projection now mercator is kind of uh, conformal projection okay so let it get executed and let's see the map that we get here uh, sorry it's taking a little longer time than usual basically my system uh, okay so here we have got a map here see uh, this is a projection this is a special map this is also known as a mercator projection basically the shape of each continent is preserved the shape of each country is preserved but it may happen that the uh, length between two continents may vary uh, now what does this mean see here in a mercator projection uh, the continents which are uh, located near the equator are uh, in uh, are have equal area okay basically the area that we have here on the globe in a mercator projection the the area nearby the equator is preserved but the area here uh, away from the equator get distorted okay so basically uh, continents which are far from equator will get uh, elongated okay so see here this is greenland this is quite elongated here similarly this is antarctica this is also quite elongated okay so this is the problem with um, what we say uh, confirmable projection that the area may vary okay so this is an example of confirmable map projection let me show you one more example uh, it's lambert confirmable so let's run it and we should get another map here and let it get executed so we, we will get the map so this is lambert confirmable map projection here this is also see the continents are preserved but the area between two continents may greatly vary okay so this is how you should be uh, using uh, suppose if you want to preserve the shape of the country or the continent you should be using confirm map projections here okay now let's move to the equal area projection what is an equal area projection basically an equal area projection is a map projection that shows regions that are same size on the earth the same size on the map but may distort the shape angle or scale basically what it means that the size and the size will be maintained basically the size of this continent will be maintained the size of this continent will be maintained 
the distance between the oceans will be same as on this globe but it may happen the shape may get changed the shape may get distorted the shape may get distorted this continent shape may get distorted uh, the angle may change okay so there uh, so this may happen so let's try to create a equal area projection here how can you create a equal area projection basically uh, an example of equal area projection is albers equal area okay so this is an example of uh, equal area projection let me just run it and let's see, let me show you see here so we have got a uh, equal area projection here basically see the uh, all the shapes uh, sorry all the size of each continent is preserved but the shape may change here okay so this is an example of equal area projection let me show you one more uh, equal area projection that is a sinusoidal so ccrs dot sinusoidal uh, one more thing that i uh, forgot to told, uh, tell you in the beginning that all these projections are defined in this cartopy dot crs module crs stand for coordinate reference system and all these projections are defined inside this crs module that's why we have imported it okay so let me just run it sorry see there are two ways to categorize a map the first one is the surface categorization and the second one is a projection categorization okay so see here we are getting a sinusoidal map it's up to you if you want to use it you can use it okay you can learn more about a certain projection from web okay so now let's move to the equidistance map projection the uh, equidistance projection maintains the equal distance from center of the map generally the distance between all meridians is equal so what it's saying that the distance between all these meridians will be equal so distance between any two continents will be same okay so you can use it so let me just show you an example of equidistant map projection uh, one of the examples is that we are using so far is as you uh, plate carry okay we have also used it previously so let me just run it and remember you should be using plate carry if you have no idea of what a projection is you should be using just plate carry okay it will be the best for your project uh, see here we have got a simple map here the distance between all these continents is same so you will have no errors on pointing out some countries okay so if you are having some doubt some kind of doubt uh, which projection you should be uh, using if you are not able to choose simply use the plate carry projection okay so this is how you can use plate carry let me show you one more example so as usual equidistant let me run it and it will show you another map projection here okay so it's up to you you can use any type of map projection that best best fits your uh, choice or your project okay so this is as usual equidistant projection okay now you can learn more type of projections from its website cartopi's website here is the link i'll give it in the video description see here in chrome browser i have already opened it so it's saying that cartopi projection list is lists all the projections that are in, uh, de uh, defined inside the cartopi uh, how you can use it simply you have to type the name of the projection here ccrs dot projection name okay and you will be able to use all these projections so this one is a plate carry i have shown you okay see here the distance between any two meridian is maintained okay so the distance between countries and continents will be same then there's albert square area projection you can choose it you can choose uh, azimuthal equidistance okay so these are equidistant basically uh, then equidistant conic and there's there are more slot lambert cylindrical okay so it's up to you which projection you want to use uh, this is i think mercator so far as i know yes this is mercator this is miller you can choose it whatever the map projection best suits, uh, suits your project you can use it but if you are uh, you have no idea of what projection you should use you could you should simply go for plate carry okay so you have to just type plate carry here and it will open uh, the it will define the plate carry projection and the map will be uh, the equidistant so the distance between any two meridians will be maintained here okay so this is how you should be using projections also keep in mind use parenthesis after the projection name otherwise it will not show you or you will get errors okay so this is all about projections in this video guys hope you learned uh, you have some basic idea of what a projection is so even if now if you have any doubt you can ask it in the comment section if you like this video leave a like or a dislike if you are new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next video